Among 58 applications to the Department of Statistics, 11 have errors. What is the probability that when a member of, a mi of the admissions committee randomly chooses three applications to review and that none of the applications contains an error? When I read this problem, I recognize that it's multiplication rule of probability. Why? Well, let's see. It says, what is the probability? So I know it's a probability question. When a member of the admissions committee randomly chooses three applications to review. So see, they're taking more than one, right? So that's a good sign. It might be multiplication rule of probability. And then they go on to say that none of the applications contains an error. So they're all behaving the same way. So there's more than one application being selected and they're all behaving the same way. None of them are going to contain an error. It's a probability question. It's almost certainly multiplication rule of probability. So at this point, then we're going to write a statement out to solve the problem. So let's do the probability that um, none of three selected apps has an error. Okay, so that's the probability I need to find. Probability that none of three selected applications has an error. So the fact that I'm selecting three applications means I should have three probability spaces. One, two, three. And because it's multiplication rule, I will put multiplication between those three spaces. The next step is to figure out what these spaces represent. So I'm going to look at that and say to myself, okay, this would be the first application that's being selected. And I want it to turn out so that that application does not have an error. So none of the three has an error means that the first one cannot have an error. This is the probability the first application does not have an error. Probability first app is error free. So what do I need to put here then? I need to put the number of applications that do not have errors over the total number of applications. Well, I can read here in the problem that it says that there are a total number of 58 applications. So I know that this should be 58. At least I have that much information, right? All right, so I know that's 58. Now I need to figure out from up here how many of those applications are error free. Well, it says 11 of them have errors. So if you take 11 from 58, you get 47, don't you? So I'm going to say that must mean that 47 out of 58 is the probability that my first application selected is error free. It'll be 47 applications without errors over 58 total applications, right? Fantastic. All right. Now my next fraction, I have to think about what that represents. Well, certainly it's the second application that's being selected, right? So I should probably say it's the probability the second app is error free, right? But I have to add something here. I'm going to say given the first was. Given the first was error free, right? Because I'm assuming that I'm going to grab three applications that none of them has an error, and I'm assuming that this guy from the admissions committee is going to review three applications. Now, if he's looking to admit someone to the department, he's not going to keep grabbing the same application over and over again and just looking at that. That's not looking at three separate applications. That would only be looking at one application over and over again, right? So if he were to grab an application and look at it, he would then put it aside and go in and get another application. That means that when he goes back in, he's not going to have 58 total applications to choose from. He's only going to have... 57. So this is a dependent scenario, right? Because this total changes as we go back in. He only has 57 applications to choose from. And assuming that the first one turned out the way it was supposed to, meaning that it was error free, that means that there won't be 47 applications without errors, but now there will only be 46 left for him to choose from. All right, good. So we have that. And then finally, the last fraction. And of course, I'm just going to put a little dot, dot, dot here to save us some writing, but let's think it through again. It should basically say the same thing this one says, substituting the word third here, right? This would be the probability that the third application is error-free given that the first and the second were error-free, right? So we're going to assume when the person goes back in to get that third application, he's going to reach in and grab an application that's error-free. Well, how many applications would be left that do not have errors? Well, there would only be 45 now, right? There were 46 before we took the last one. When we took one, we're left with only 45 applications in the batch that have no errors. And there would be only a total of 56 to choose from. So the probability that last application is error-free is 45 over 56, because this is the number of applications without errors over the total number of applications that are left in the batch. All right, and so the rest of that is just calculator work. Um, a little bit more tedious. We have 
a bunch of numbers to type in. So let's do this like this. We'll do 47 times 46 times 45. We'll get the answer for that top part. So we get 97,290 divided by 58 times 57 times 56. We get uh, 18,000, uh, sorry, 185,136. Actually, a much bigger number. All right, and then we divide those two. So we'll have the 97,290 divided by the 18,000, or sorry, 185,136. And when you do that, you get this final answer, um, 0 0.526 or basically 52.6%. All right, very good.